first of its kind felony prosecution that we've ever seen in the country. A Tesla driver operating on autopilot is in fact going to stand trial for a crash that killed two people in Gardena. Let's go to Eyewitness News reporter Tony Cabrera. He's live with the latest on all of this. Tony. Randy, this case could make people think twice about using those autopilot features in their vehicles. The accident in this case happened two and a half years ago. The driver in that vehicle had it on autopilot, police say. They ran a red light, crashed into another vehicle, killing the two people inside. And now, just this week, a judge says the person behind the wheel must stand trial. This is now believed to be the first felony prosecution in the U.S. against a driver using a partially automated driving system. And it could eventually show that drivers legally cannot rely on technology to control their vehicles. The person in the driver's seat of the Tesla Model S, 27-year-old Kevin Riad, must stand trial now that a judge says there's enough evidence to try him on two counts of vehicular manslaughter. Prosecutors say the Tesla's auto steer and traffic aware cruise control were active and that sensors indicated the operator had a hand on the steering wheel, but no brakes applied in the minutes before the crash. Tesla has said that autopilot and the full self-driving system cannot drive themselves and that drivers must pay attention and be ready to react. And since 2016, federal investigators have looked into 34 crashes that may have been using the driver assistance systems. Most of those crashes involve Teslas. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.